Hello, hello. This is the awful and awesome entertainment wrap, episode two hundred and seventy-nine. This is Rajesh Sen, and this is Abhinand Sekri. We come to you with a list that is truly representative and very diverse this week. Yeah. Rajesh Sen, we have uh, but the fourteenth. It's also not diverse. No, it's diverse. <laughs> we have the fourteenth anniversary of a classic, a yeah. truly classic it's film, which film. we will reveal which one it is. Uh, we have. Um, Two films and one series. Yes. And since the World Cup just kicked off, of course, an ad about the World Cup, mm-hmm. which is which sports brand? Think about it. And because it was Children's Day, Chacha Nehru's birthday on the fourteenth of November, yes. there was an ad on Children's Day also. Correct. And uh, and we'll discuss two celebrity things. Passings. No, no, one has not passed. Okay, one passed. One is there. Mm, one is one will there. at some point because he's not point. immortal. Mm. And uh, and do you want to comment on why you're dressed like a rowdy? I'm not dressed like a rowdy. I'm just wearing a black pathan suit. You're like Vivek Davo, Agnihotri. Davo Davo Ibrahim always wears a sweatshirt over his uh, this thing pathan suit. I have never seen him wear that. First of all, because <laughs> the only photographs of his that are available is when he's watching the match. He's not even wearing a pathan suit. With mandakini. So you make up your own stuff. You're you're basically Vivek Agnihotri. <laughs> part two. <laughs> But Rajshree Sen, why don't you start off with? with an appeal to our subscribers? Tomorrow we have Jude, the producer of this show, is going with some other producers to Gujarat. Manisha and Natul also going tomorrow. They've already been to Himachal Pradesh, and why? At the time of recording this, our NL Sena, which is what funds our election coverage, because you know two states are going for election, is up to. I shall just tell you, it is up to six lakh seventy four thousand out of fourteen lakh. We haven't even hit halfway. Guys, come on, yeah, you got to contribute. Only then is reportage going to happen. Otherwise, they'll just the kind of shit that you watch on TV news is going to happen. So do contribute and pay to keep news free. Go to newsround. dot com, click on the subscribe button, and say "Mere Khurch Pe Azad Hain Khabne." Yes, Rajshree, what else do you want to add to that valuable? I want to add that people can. Oh, if you want to, there there are limited hardback, hardback, right? Hardback. Ha, huh, hardbound. No hardback. I'm getting sexy back. Keep uh, hard back uh, copies uh, of Kashmir uh, ki kahani, which you can order, which I edited just also. Just show it properly. One second, which my name was kept out of, but I edited it also. Really? And you should add your name. Then she'll sign it. They've added my name now. They've added your without name without asking you because they know what you're like. Hmm. You keep women out of the limelight, and uh, you can order it on newslaundry.com, and the link is given below. Yes. Correct. So click yes. So let's start. This off. is my copy. It's free. <laughs> <laughs> okay, just say. Okay. You haven't left. In case y'all make me you log on. You haven't left the premises yet, so <laughs> yeah. we we shall see about that. That's why I said it on camera. So this letter is from non Punjabi. You can also email us, but for that you have to be a subscriber. We only read subscribers' mails, so don't be cheap. Please be a subscriber, and if you're a student and can't afford a subscription, click on the student subscription link. What I want to uh, test one thing. If you're send us a letter though in the mail, or a postcard in the mail, we'll read it out, even if they are not subscribers, because I want to check with whether this younger generation even writes proper letters. Okay, the address is down in the show yeah. notes. Yeah, you all try it. It's lots of fun to put pen to paper. Ha! Huh. Now, Auntie will read the letter. From non Punjabi, dear Miss Sen, I have a very important question for you. I have been listening to past episodes of E N A and want to ask you this: What will you call a Punjabi who whines a lot about the whining of every other community? An Anjabi. I didn't get it. Did you I get don't, it? <laughs> I don't know what this means. Because, like, I I don't get like why Anjabi is because we don't. Is, <laughs> is she punning on un unpun un. Punjabi. Pun. I mean, you We can say what do you call? Explain. What do you call someone from the north who plays with double meaning words? A Punjabi. You get it? <laughs> I'm going to has... read this. The rest of this mail. It's too much for me. <laughs> On a different note, I watched Ram Master in English. I didn't even know that it's there in English because that is the only language it's available in here. Oh, this so... is one of our foreign subscribers. Okay. So you're impressed? Yeah. <laughs> you're... <laughs> you're so shallow. <laughs> <laughs> And if you haven't watched it, then you are missing out on Anmol Zingers. Like, light is something that cannot be explained, but can only be felt. It is more powerful than all the darkness in the world. 
you need to be switched on before wielding your astra what Mohan. it's it's it is my sworn duty to protect the brahmastra with my life before giving it away to two strangers he met the night before <laughs> and for most powerful weapon in this world is not brahmastra but a heart full of pure love i guess they are planning two more movies based around a second grade weapon let's uh, review a film that was directed by the love child of quentin tarantino and guy ritchie yes bullet train which i did not watch <gasps> Imagine see, he knew this. That's why he said it. I got to carry this show on my shoulders. Yes, we can see on my tired, aging shoulders. But I'm Please, still. I through. watched forty minutes of it. It was enough. So Bullet Train, like I just said, if um, Quentin Tarantino and Guy Ritchie had a love child, yeah. that love but child would be. But we're going through a bad phase, also. Like it wasn't their best. But, but phase the child was still a child. Huh. Is the David <laughs> Lich? L E I T C H Leach David Leach. Now I was going over David Leach's filmography. Mm-hmm. In he directed Deadpool too, so he's obviously done some great oh, work as well. Oh, he's very good because I love the Deadpool films. They're really funny. Now he's, in this film also, he tries that banter. It doesn't hmm. work. You know that yeah, like smart alecky thing. It works in Deadpool because that's a character. Here it doesn't work. Also, I think Ryan Reynolds adds some lines himself. Because he seems very so smart. Yeah. And also, David Leach also played in Deadpool too. He was Juggernaut. Oh, and he's very young. He's younger no, than you. He's not very young. He's forty-seven years old. That's very young. Okay. I mean, doesn't clearly <laughs> someone is someone is really <laughs> dreading hitting the fifties or sixties, but <clears throat> it's not very young. Very young would be twenty-one. Would be very young. But well, that's too much. Uh, Bullet huh? Train is the story about. Four assassins, four or five. I think five assassins five, five who assassins. have been brought on to one train in to carry Tokyo. out. A, okay, why no, did, why did you tell no, us? No, I'm just saying in Japan, right? The yeah, train. Yeah, I was. I'll, okay, I'll huh? you say, say that, sir, but, sir, you say. <laughs> you <laughs> no, no, you say. <laughs> in Japan, in Tokyo, the train is going to finish at Tokyo. It's a bullet train, hmm. and it's about a. A, a, a particular uh, bag has to be recovered, and the son of the most dreaded gangster of Japan has been kidnapped, and he has to be rescued. And that's what this whole film is about. And it's in this one train. Now, you know, so it's cut, it's editing, etc. is is exactly like Guy Ritchie's film Snatch mm. and all that. That's just the whole look and feel of it. And the clever lines are like Deadpool, but. Trying to be Quentin Tarantino because he Quentin Tarantino has these long scenes which have nothing to do with the plot of the film, but the scene by itself really holds. Mm. Uh, he tries to do that and that it doesn't really work. It's I mean I wasn't bored, but I was a little dude. I've seen this before and I've seen it done better. Mm. That was my. Also, the fight scenes and all are very nice. It's that nice choreographed. Uh, He's actually a, a, a choreographer, a, a, stunt, a stunt director. Oh, that's He's, why it's very well done. The fight scenes and. Uh, Everything's very stylized. Brad Pitt is funny, which I find like you know Brad Pitt's acted in Quentin Tarantino films. Wasn't Once Upon a Time in Hollywood? Uh... Yeah, he's done. Yeah, so when you're produced, is he one of Inglorious the... Bastards also? Inglorious Bastards also. So I'm surprised that he did not think that it's very similar to, or maybe that's what they were trying to see if they could do a better version of a quentin tarantino film yeah you can't do a better version of quentin tarantino he's too talented a guy and he's done this for too long like we've seen it from and also if you have to do it you have to do it better or it has to it just seemed forced it seemed gimmicky however the characters are interesting yeah so it keeps it it kept me engaged but i wasn't yet yeah, too impressed let me see if i've taken any notes <laughs> so <laughs> my notes are yeah tends to be a little gimmicky The smart alecky one-liners are a little forced, like my jokes. <laughs> yes, we didn't want to say, but it's okay since you're an elder. <laughs> since I'm an elder, <laughs> so a large part of the crown, which it should be like that, is about uh, the monarchy. <laughs> it's about the monarchy. <laughs> Keep quiet. The queen's uh, relationships and <laughs> interaction. If you say something stupid, I don't know. Interactions with the. various prime ministers so john major becomes the prime minister and there's a change in the person who plays the queen so earlier claire foy played the young queen then olivia colman and now imelda staunton plays her and she's very very good 
as the queen. Do they look like the queen? They look they make, like much prettier versions of mm. the queen, but like the queen. So even Princess Margaret, who was actually very nice looking, uh, Leslie Mann will plays her, and her younger version, Helena Bonham Carter, played her. How do you remember all these names? I don't even remember the names of my own. Of your own, like your. Own courtiers, my, what? my tribe. <laughs> Your tribe. Yeah. How's the Dawood look? Tribe. I, I don't know. How, like you rattle off ten names. I don't even remember one. I I can't even remember the name of the film I watched. But I'm impressed. You eat badam every day. I I eat. Really? Four almonds. Then start so eating less. <laughs> you're laughing. He's fat shaming me. I'm not fat shaming. I'm just saying eating less badam is very expensive. Very bad. You shouldn't waste money. My so dog much. eats too. But do, so but do they? Almonds. And the prime ministers look just like the actual prime ministers. John Major looks. Tony Blair looks like a very good-looking version of Tony Blair. Jonathan Price plays Prince Philip now. He also looks like a very good-looking. All the Prince Philip was nice-looking when he was. Are we going to the backstories of all the prime ministers? Yeah, the, the, yeah. So there like are. John Major had a very dramatic uh, coming of age, no? When he turned eighteen, do they go into that? <laughs> he wrote in a diary and said to you. No, it's before. <laughs> see, before he turned in the newspaper, he put out an ad. His changed his identity. Before that, his name was John Minor. So then he turned eighteen. <laughs> then he became John anyway, Major. As I was saying, and <laughs> Charles and Diana are played by Dominic West. So again, it's very bad. Yeah, joke. So again, Domin Prince Charles does not look like. I want to show you Dominic West. Huh, he's one okay. of the. I want to remember his face. No, he is one of the. You remember Prince Charles's face, na? Even it's kind if, of barely. Even if Di did not want to remember, this is Dominic West. He's so hot. Charming lad in it. He's very hot. Tea and muffin. So there's no way that this could be Prince Charles, but they've cast him. And Elizabeth Debicki plays Princess Diana. So it is He's about a chocolate cookie Prince Charles with Britannia biscuit. <laughs> no, keep quiet. And uh, it's about uh, that entire period. So she had called this the. Uh, it, now you laugh. See, that's kind of humor. Anis Horribilis. Means Why like will a, I laugh at this oh, potty humor? Oh, so classy. <laughs> <laughs> Rashi, you have not got... I have learned nothing about this show t- since you started talking about it. You're, Because you've interrupted 25 times. You're a little shit. You're laughing at some... Okay. <laughs> you're, like, you're like a class 5 child. <laughs> Now, kids, we'll study the human body. This is called the NSE. <laughs> You we are going to be fifty soon. Everyone's here. That's why you're not laughing. <laughs> uh, now let's talk about this uh, coming of age of a classic. Not coming of age. It's fourteen years since this classic yeah. was released. What a film! It was released back in two thousand eight on the fourteenth of November on Children's Day. <laughs> <laughs> It was uh, made by someone who started off as a film producer and writer, but now is a critic. Yeah, uh, and he makes or breaks cinema. He, he can make or break a film, and his name is Kamal Rashid Khan. Many people know him as K R K. He recently went to prison. Yeah, when he landed in Bombay. And he blamed first he said Salman Khan has done it, then something happened, and he tweeted Salman Bhai, I'm sorry. I now know that you were not behind this. So Desh Drohi was actually. I remember in 2008, I was watching TV, and that time these promos were a new thing. I mm. mean, they had started in like 95 was the first really. Insane promo that came out, which was the, hmm. it was the uh, when Raj met Simran, love was never the same. Delwale. Delwale. Hmm. Uh, but then promos became a thing, hmm. and then I saw the Desh Dori. I thought it was a spoof. I thought someone was taking the piss. Because when you see K R K as a hero, then you, no, no, it's not that. I mean, you even Saif as a hero, but the. the <laughs> Kiss my. What's the difference between Saif and K R K? Tell me. There's a lot of difference. What's the difference Bank between balance, you and it. no? What yes. nonsense! Otherwise, they are the same. No, <laughs> they are the same. I mean, if Saif and K R K walked in, I'd say, "Where's Saif? Where's K R K?" I can't tell. No, you would say, "Why yeah. well, you're blind?" Yeah. I'm not blind. I mean, There's no difference. <laughs> are you so visually please, challenged? It's just that one of them is that he went to. It's like I said, the difference between Jaggi Vasudev 
and uh, ram rahim singh insan is one went to public school one did not yeah, go to public school yeah but saif is very good looking krk K- nobody K- has ever he is kind of cute <laughs> you like to cuddle with him come yeah. on <laughs> he is so little i, I, I think with, i think he's shorter than me also so you can cuddle with him he's a little shorter. person <laughs> krk i'm like, on team krk she's on team saif nobody cuddles with him how old is krk i want to know Okay, so, just, uh, so we have our Dej Rohit in fourteen years. That's all you want to say. Why? So, he's also younger than you. If you haven't watched it yet, do watch it. Uh, Dej Rohit. Uh, it was a he's film. He's forty-seven. At least according to Wikipedia, it was made on a budget of three crore. <laughs> and they made. And it made eighty-nine lakhs on the box <laughs> office. So he never made another film. But you know, I will. I, I, but the thing is that everyone associated with this film went on to greatness. So. K R K is also He's eventually going to end up great. Manoj Tiwari, who was like a B grade film actor, is yeah. now an M P for the Bharatiya Janata Party, and he is the face that keeps opposing Kejriwal in Delhi. Aman Verma, who became a household yeah, name. Yeah, he did with uh, uh, Smriti Irani. Saath bhi kai bahu thi and Haan. the sting operation and all that. He oh, that a, also he became, became a household name. Proper household so, name he became. Desh Drohi, who was associated Desh Drohi, it it was so. But give the yeah. descriptor that we read, na. KRK is like King Midas, <laughs> so he's tragic, but whatever he touched to turn to gold. So, Desh Drohi is a 2008 Indian Hindi language action thriller film directed by Jagdish Sharma. It was scripted and produced by KRK. Uh, the f- themes of the film consist of politics, prostitution, pimping, and corruption. <laughs> It's like life. Everyday life is like that one day. <laughs> so, on that note, <laughs> also since I'm uh, talking about things, that, actually, you know, we shouldn't put that in the same league as Dej Rohit, but the World Cup, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <talk laughs> opened in Oman, and the opening had some um, performer who's supposed to be a superstar of a band called DMK, BTS. BTS. DMK. Beto, <laughs> that is Stalin. Sorry, yeah, he's also. It's a bigger rock star. So than I rock fucking star. watched it. I have not seen a crappier World Cup opening performance in my life. I have seen more. Uh, you know, I have seen slicker performances on Founders Day of schools. And of the, the annual days They of college. They had a ghost. Yeah, one. I don't know who this boy is. Jungkook. Jungkook. You Jung have, Kuk, you have Jung to, Kuk. whatever you have, you should be above a certain age to perform there because Arre, they are uh, young. So they, they are young. So he looks like you know when I was young, huh? they used to be. It was like very popular hmm. on TV, physically in India, abroad, everywhere. It was very normal. Like you know, there's Elvis lookalike contests. Mm-hmm. There were Michael Jackson contests. Who could look more like huh? Michael Jackson? Move like Michael Jackson. This guy seemed like the guy who'd get eliminated in the first round of the Michael Jackson contest. He's wearing that black with that white shirt, and he has that curl dangling from here, and he's like trying too hard to be cool and all. It just oh my oh, god, no. it was cringe. BTS and I felt so bad like seeing really uh, big. Not P.S. Morgan, Morgan Freeman. <laughs> I yeah. felt so bad seeing Morgan Freeman. I saw that. A very good joke I heard yesterday was Morgan Freeman. Morgan Freeman has made more appearances in the World Cup final than Italy. <laughs> <laughs> has he appeared before also? Oh, they must have given him a contract then. And Qatar, of course, is Qatar. We don't want. Oh, to but write. I saw a really tragic documentary yesterday on BBC. On the migrant It's called, workers uh, who burning. Um, uh, the link is in the show notes below. But I mean, just how they. It's about the workers. It. It about yeah, the workers. that kind of thing. Monica, uh, my darling. Oh, my darling is a Netflix film. Yeah. It is directed by Vasan Bala. I think this is the who first film he's directed. Who has made Mard ko dard nahi hota? Oh yeah, so that was a very good film. Yeah. So it's uh, starring Rajkumar Rao, Radhika Apte, and Homa Kureshi. Although Radhika Apte has a very small role. It's very stylized. The film Homa Kureshi is quite good in it. Basically, she's playing everyone in the company. By the no. have I given a spoiler? No, playing everyone in the company. She's not actually playing the no, hero. No, as in like, playing Kamal Hasan plays a true. Stupid. Uh, she's making. They do. Uh, I can't say these bad words. I don't use. Mm. So I'm using like classier Good language. Words. Huh. And uh, she is making a fool of everyone in the company. God, so many she's words. She's not are... really anyway. Hmm. Mm-hmm. And uh, she, if y'all haven't watched it, when was it released? Two weeks. Don't back. give spoilers. Nah, it's not that hard not to give spoilers. Ten days back. So don't that. give a spoiler. Can you? Okay. Can you... But uh, so there are parts of it which are quite fun, and uh, 
amusing and nice to watch and all but the way it was touted to be this fabulous uh, path breaking film and such a roller coaster ride and like a film like this has not been made in years in india i that part i didn't understand i thought it was trying a little too hard in some parts mm. and uh, even the reaction like it goes from being uh satirical to suddenly slapstick a little bit like i felt they weren't getting their tone correct in some parts but uh the use of the songs was very nice the music is mm. really nice in this and that pr to i have that in my notes you have that in your notes but i have it in my head mm. like that's that. why your your reviews are <laughs> a little garbled and jumbled up because you have them in your head i have them as notes finished why don't you read your notes now Monica oh my <laughs> darling Have you spelled Monica properly The stylized treatment often looks forced especially in the scene of drink your tea You know the drink your tea <laughs> They've scene They've fallen asleep I subscribe to Rich Wake up wake up that is only a first point there are five more points So uh yeah so the stylized treatment it's it's very stylized film it has that you know 70s 80s kind of look and feel and not just that that quentin tarantino type style i think that you know there's something very bizarre happening and there's like he tries to build up the tension in every scene that is he also in the, is he yeah. going to drink the tea is there poison is there no you know building up every scene into this crescendo of like crisis point hmm. is something that they've tried in this film and it doesn't work because it seems too forced so it often seems like a gimmick uh and this is key to what you're saying not getting the tone right in most cases the character's behavior is not plausible which really takes away subscribe and listen to the complete unedited version of this podcast on our podcast player download the app it will be most helpful for you to listen to this podcast smoothly without any problem we being an independent platform depend on our readers viewers and listeners support independent media by subscribing to news laundry go to newslaundry.com click on the subscribe button at the top and pay to keep news free